So what happened? Am I abandoning my main YouTube channel? Am I leaving the raid community forever? Am I done covering the game? What are the plans and what is causing me to not upload here on the channel? I just went to TwitchCon and got to hang out with the whole Fateless crew and finally meet everybody in person like Hell Hades and Fixion and YST and Saf and hang out with Deadwood and got to have some really good conversations. So I want to keep you in the loop about everything going on in the terms of the future for the channel here and what has been going on with me and why I haven't been able to upload daily like I expect because I love all of you and I feel bad about kind of abandoning the channel. So I do want to update you. Let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, I wanna apologize because I do need to be better about uploading here on this channel. There's a lot of you who have supported me for almost five years now, and I really appreciate all of the subscribers and all of the views that we've gotten here on the channel over the years. So the last thing I wanna do is have any viewers feel like I'm just abandoning this channel or I'm leaving the raid community deuces, I'm out forever and stuff like that. That's the last thing I want to happen. I do wanna be better about uploading here more consistently. And I just went to TwitchCon and got to hang out with some of the people that I talked about in the intro. I got an Airbnb with a few different content creators like Deadwood Jedi. Uh, two different nights at the Airbnb. I sat on the back porch and just talked about life and raid and all that with Deadwood Jedi until the sun came up. So I was up until like 6 or 7 a.m., two different nights in Las Vegas, just hanging out and talking with Deadwood and was getting some perspectives on what would be the plan as Raid kind of evolves into the end game. You know, I, I was one of the first creators that came here in 2019, was probably one of the first like two or three people uploading for Raid and I'm one of the last like of that first wave that is still here. Kind of like the first wave of Darth and Kizzle and Stu and Salt and some of these like first initial five people i'm kind of the last one standing they've all kind of moved on by now to other things besides raid and i was that last bastion uh clinging on as long as i could and i was also hanging out with hell hades and was getting some perspective from him on what would be a good plan here for this channel and hell hades smart guy knows a lot about content knows a lot about raid so i definitely value his opinion and he was telling me that i should lean into doing some of the community stuff you know bringing people on for collabs bringing people on for interviews and covering some of that stuff even if i'm not able to play raid six eight hours a day or whatever i can still cover the people within the community and bring to life the human side of things within the raid community like when Hell Hades decided that he was going to start Fateless and I brought him onto the channel here and interviewed him about it and grilled him and asked some questions about, hey, what can we know? What's going on? And I kind of have to have a perspective from somebody that's been in the raid community since the very beginning. And I can kind of ask some of those questions that some of the people out there are hopefully thinking. And it's good advice. It's honestly something that I would probably consider leaning into doing. I've always been a community first guy. Out of everybody, I've probably done the most collabs and most of them don't even make it to the channel here. I mean, there's there's hundreds or even thousands of requests that I've put out to other people for collabs that it just ends up never aligning with our schedules or it never makes it to the channel. But that's always been a focus of mine pretty much on a daily basis, trying to line up hanging out with other people and other creators to do projects with or collaborate with for YouTube videos. But also there's gonna be a lot of craziness going on. So a lot of you by now know that I did join Fateless, got the Fateless merch that we got at, uh, at TwitchCon, so super stoked about that. But yeah, I did join uh, Hell Hades's gaming organization that he is creating to develop games called Fateless. I did join that and have been helping out over there, which has been a lot of fun and I'm loving it. I'm hoping Fateless will be like my 35 year career. I'm hoping we can build Fateless into something that is a triple A type gaming studio and I'm hoping I can retire there. So that is definitely the long-term priority in terms of what I wanna do for a 30 plus year career in working with Fateless. But as far as being a gamer or being a content creator, I'm not quite ready to hang it up yet. I still got a few years that I wanna get stuff done and I wanna do some big projects in gaming. I'm gonna be helping cover the new Warcraft Rumble Blizzard mobile game, which is kinda of like Clash Royale. I'm gonna be helping cover that on the HH Gaming website. And I'm gonna be doing a YouTube channel for that. I'll link to it down below. I'm not gonna spam you here, you raid players. I'm not gonna spam you on this channel with Warcraft Rumble content. So I'm gonna upload it on a completely separate channel. 
We'll see how it does. We'll, we'll we'll kick the tires. We'll upload a few videos, and I'll probably play it for a few months and kind of see how it's going. And if there's a demand there, I'll probably cover it. So as far as content and gaming, I'm going to be working on that for at least a few months. I'm still going to be here in the raid community, obviously interacting with all of the creators and and talking with different people about different projects, and probably able to upload here at least a few times a week uh, about the some different things going on in the community, some news type stuff, and, and get some collabs in ideally. And then on top of that, I'm also developing my own game that I have talked about here on the channel a few times and I did want to show you by now. So in this video, I am going to talk about exactly what kind of game I'm making because I don't want to keep doing nothing but give you cliffhangers. I do want to actually give you something. So the game that I'm working on, and by the way, it's still a few months out from release and having like an early access on Steam. So none of this is set in stone, but the kind of game that I'm working on is going to be like a hybrid of Diablo 1 and Vampire Survivors. <laughs> So I'm going to be having a game where you kind of play through an auto farm bullet hell kind of game that you move around and, and high density kill a bunch of stuff. But you also are going to have like a class that you pick and a character that you're developing and you're farming gear and you're doing a build and you have stats that you're raising up based on your gear and farming legendaries and all that. So and we're going to be kind of having like different areas that you crawl through like a dungeon crawler where you build a class like Diablo 1 while also having the gameplay have the elements of a game that is bullet hell like Vampire Survivors. And there is a lot that goes into doing your own project in terms of getting it coded and getting it designed and getting it released on Steam and actually having it see the light of day. I'm fairly confident that will happen, but I can't guarantee you anything. I'm still in negotiations with different people and coming on board with me for the project and, and figuring out the budget and how the funds are going to be acquired and spent. So it is something that's still kind of in the early stages. I mean, it's only been a concept for like two months. So there's still a lot going into it, but obviously as soon as I can show you things, I will show you. And I just need to kind of get some of that negotiation behind the scenes kind of stuff that is largely out of my control. I'm kind of waiting to meet with people. I'm waiting to hear back from people. I'm waiting on funds. I'm waiting to see how I'm going to distribute things. And a lot of it's kind of out of my control. If it was in my control, I would have everything done ideally and be able to show you here on the channel. But as soon as I can, and as soon as it is kind of signed, sealed and ready to be delivered, I will definitely keep you in the loop on the game that I'm developing along with everything we're doing at Fateless in terms of the big Gasha type game project. So yeah, anyway, the plan going forward here on the channel for my content that you subscribed for is I'm not going to be leaving the raid community. I'm going to be still hanging out and kind of observing what's going on and talking with the creators and trying to bring people on for collabs and talk about things going on around content and gaming and news and all of that that would be relevant to a viewer here in relation to raid. But it is what it is. Like, that's just a fact of life. I'm going to have to evolve a little bit. I can't just do the same thing for 20 years you know i've done raid videos for almost five years now i've done probably almost 2,000 videos and pr probably more more than 2,000 videos i've done every tier list i wanted to do i've done every champion guide i wanted to do probably five times i've cleared all the content uh all the pve content is easy for me and my account i've done all the shard pull videos i've done all the events so i do have to evolve a little bit and start to kind of slowly branch into other stuff and i hope that doesn't alienate too many of you here on the channel because i'm really trying hard to think about it and evolve this channel in a proper way that would do right by all of you that have stuck with me throughout the years so i'm back and the videos are going to return lots of super huge and exciting projects coming up very soon that you will be in the loop here if you are a subscriber on the channel and if you are going to play that new warcraft rumble game i will definitely be uploading a lot of fun tier lists and pvp decks and and all sorts of stuff around warcraft rumble i'll link to it down below if you would like to check out that content over there so i appreciate all of you thanks for watching have a great rest of your day peace